Here's a story of belonging. When I originally built, um, I was of the mindset, get a home, think you're going to be staying there for maybe three or four years, find another place to live. I wanted to get to meet my neighbors. This was the first house that I had actually built and thought, I want to, you know, go ahead and raise a family in. And 30 years later, I'm still here. I built here in November 91. By February of 92, I started inviting my first neighbors. Ever since it started growing, so I usually do two or three a year. Uh, whether it's a Ukrainian Christmas or whether it is maybe an Easter get-together or we do a neighborhood potluck, which has become very popular. And always July, um, we do a neighbor and friends and family hoedown. And then this last September, um, we ended up doing a Mexican fiesta. The last 10 years, we've had, we've had some pretty hard hits here in Calgary. Going through something like the flood, or when we had snow timber, we went through a really tough time. Yeah, I've never seen so many people offering to help chainsaw people's trees and help them rebuild a fence. Disaster can either bring people together or it can split people apart. And I find you reap what you sow. So it didn't matter in regards to age or race or religion. Everyone seemed to really come together that way. It's a different climate of people here in, in a way that I find that just respond to getting together and wanting to get to know your neighbor. I'm proud to be a Calgarian. I absolutely love living here. As evidence, 54 years later, I'm still here. So um, it's a great place to raise a family, to live, to work, to become one with your neighbors. Um, even the climate, everything. I mean, there, I, I, have, I have grown and introduced people to so much of what Calgary has to offer, I'm proud of, and I'm proud to be a Calgarian.